Each embroidery object that isn't connected to another one will have a black circle to show you where the machine begins to stitch and a black triangle which is where the machine trims. You can change these two points by selecting the reshape tool, clicking on the outline of the object and then move the green diamond to move the start point and the red cross to move the end point. To stop the machine from trimming between two objects you need to make sure the distance between them is less than the value that's in the trim after section of the auto connector settings. We covered auto connectors in a previous video. My setting is 2mm which means if I bring the start point of my second object less than 2mm away from the end point of the first embroidery object then the machine won't trim and it jumps across. I'll do a couple more. So reshape, move the end point, select your next object and move the start point so they're as close together as possible. I'll move the end point, select this object and move the start point and if I go into true view mode the trims have gone and the jump stitches are in place. There's about a dozen more embroidery objects on this design which all need the start and end points moving. That's probably about 30 seconds work but I can do it instantly using Wilcom's closest join tool. You simply select the objects and click the closest join icon and the start and end points are moved automatically. I'll do that one more time. Select the objects, click closest join and like magic the start and end points are moved next to each other. You can configure closest join so it's always enabled. Do that by going to setup, options and on the pop-up box tick the box closest join. Personally I wouldn't recommend closest join being on by default because sometimes it can get in the way. I'd much rather use it by hitting the closest join icon or using shortcut J.